And welcome back. Sleep apnea affects millions of Americans and lots of folks don't even realize they have it. We welcome to the show Dr. Nicole Dahlkamper uh, from Water's Edge Dentistry to a uh, show and talk about treatment methods and solutions for sleep apnea. First, let's define what is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is when there's like an obstruction in the throat and you physically stop breathing mm -hmm. for 10 whole seconds. That's mm -hmm. usually when they register it. So basically you're not getting enough oxygen to the body when you're sleeping. And for someone that may be uh, uh, friends or, or sleeping with someone that has that for the first time they see it, it can scare the heck out of somebody. Definitely. Yeah. So, um, sometimes people are loud snorers. That doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean you, you have mm -hmm. it, but people with sleep apnea stop breathing and are mm -hmm. gasping or choking or mm -hmm. you, know, you won't even hear them breathing, which is scary. And I understand there's like 18 million Americans that have sleep apnea. Uh-huh, and there's probably 10 million, I think they say, that are undiagnosed mm -hmm. because a lot of people, sleep apnea can affect a lot of people. Um, most people think that it's just people who are severely overweight, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. I treated a lady the other day that was 140 pounds. Wow. Uh, tell us some of the risks that are involved with having sleep apnea. Um, Men are at a higher risk, even healthy men mm -hmm. that you know, work out and you know, just are at the epitome of health, they're at higher risk for having a heart attack, mm -hmm. like a heart attack in the middle of the night just for no reason. Wow. Not for no reason, but they have sleep apnea. And yeah. when you stop breathing, your heart has to work a lot harder. And women are at a higher risk for stroke as well. Mm -hmm. Now, how, how would an in individual realize or know or be diagnosed having sleep apnea? Because we might not realize that we have it and maybe it's never been diagnosed. And sometimes, I mean, you might not even be making noises or your partner might not know that, mm -hmm. you know, you are not breathing. Thing. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if you wake up in the morning, you have headaches or you don't feel refreshed. Mm -hmm. Like you go to bed and you just don't feel like you're recharged. <laughs> I like, feel like I'm refreshed every, every morning <laughs> just about. But it, it's, it's usually your partner would know, would notice something uh, that's going on that, that you, you, you stall out, so to speak, for a moment. Then you, all of a sudden you kind of jump back mm -hmm. in. And it. those are more severe cases. You yeah. can have a minor case and then you might just not feel recharged mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the morning. Okay. Let's talk about the different ways that we can treat sleep apnea. Now, mm -hmm. everybody, I think, has, has seen the CPAP, the big oxygen mask that you put on and so forth mm -hmm. but there are other ways that it can be taken care of this is a great picture right here uh, the people uh, an individual that's wearing this has to lay on their back the entire time that they're sleeping they can't go side by side or on, on their stomach or whatever um, but there are other ways to treat it correct yes mm -hmm. um, the CPAP it is the standard of care mm -hmm. But a lot of people just can't tolerate it. They try it for a few months and then they abandon use altogether and they mm -hmm. still have sleep apnea and are mm -hmm. at all these risks mm -hmm. of heart disease and all that, sure. you know, kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. there is an appliance that dentists can make. Mm -hmm. There's actually a lot of different ones, but the one I make is FDA approved and mm -hmm. it actually opens up the airway mm -hmm. and you can use that instead of the CPAP. Mm -hmm. And you've got an example right there. As a matter of fact, one on the screen, but you also have an example right in front of you. And you take a mold of the teeth of the bite, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We take a mold of the bite, but then uh, one thing that's also different about how we make the appliance is mm -hmm. we look at the muscles and get them in a position so the airway is going to be open. It's not just pushing the jaw forward. And I mean, it's a lot more complicated than that, but okay. yes. <laughs> Let's just say that, that I think that I have sleep apnea and I come in, how can you diagnose that with me? Um, we actually send patients home with home sleep studies okay. to, um, to just screen and see if it's just snoring or see if they're stopping breathing or mm -hmm. if the oxygen in their blood's going down. So mm -hmm. I screen patients. I mean, even looking in their mouths, I can tell if they have a small airway. We'll send them home. I cannot diagnose it. If I see something, then I'll send them to a sleep doctor. A specialist. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. but, then they, but I can treat mm -hmm. with an appliance to help them. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. basically, I mean, you really need to communicate with the doctor as well. And that's mm -hmm. what's very important. You mm -hmm. need to find a dentist that you know, has good relationships with the doctors and that can communicate mm -hmm. treatment and needs of the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, does this come around very often in your work? A lot. It's becoming uh -huh. more and more common. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're doing more and more of it. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's very fulfilling. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. I love what I do. I love dentistry, mm -hmm. love teeth, all that kind of stuff. But really, yeah. this is saving people's lives. It really oh, absolutely. Is. Now, Water's Edge, great business and so forth. But you do give back to the, and we're going to kind of slide off from sleep at me for a moment. Uh, you give back to the community as well, but I understand that you and some of your technicians are going to go to Peru on a mission. Yeah, we're going uh -huh. to Peru in January. I'm really excited. It's a medical mission trip, and mm -hmm. there's only 15 people going down to a small village down there. Wow. So I'm extremely excited about that. Mm -hmm. I volunteer at the free clinic in town too, mm -hmm. but like going abroad is just, it's really, it's really exciting. Yeah, well, thank you so much for doing that, doctor. 
appreciate Thank that. You. So again, if you think that you have sleep apnea, you want to give uh, the doctor a call right there at Waters Edge Dentistry, 1203 2 Island Court. More of Low Country Live coming up in just a moment.